Hello Cancer, welcome back. This is going to be your weekend reading. I don't know what deck I'm using. I just finished Gemini's read, so let's see. Spirit, what deck would you like to use for Cancer? i just feel out the vibe here. What deck? You want the Tarot of the Doors. Okay, I'm being guided to Romantic Tarot. Is this a deck you want to use for Cancer? Six of Cups and Strength. Six of Cups is huge today. I just got a huge Six of Cups reading for Gemini. It's all nostalgia, inner child. And it was all about memory, going down memory lane. I don't think this is the one because I like to get a yes. I like an ace, a sun, seven, tens. You want to use again the tarot of the doors for cancer would you like to use this deck for cancer spirit guides would you like to use this deck for cancer three of swords that's a big no Ooh. Ooh. That Three of Swords has been showing up all day. Okay, then I don't know. What, what do you want, Spirit? What do you want to use? Tattoo Tarot? Would you like to use Tattoo Tarot? Nine of Coins is a great card, Queen of Wands. But it's not a yes. So, how about Fountain? Page of Cups and two. Nope. I'm giving Spirit the chance to choose, the opportunity to choose, because each deck is different with them. Um, their take. They have a different spin on the card sometimes. Different images for sure. How about this for Cancer? <clears throat> yeah. Yep. All right, let's go. The Seven of Pentacles. I take Sevens, Ace, Sun, Judgment, Tens as a, a yes. All right, what do we have for Cancer Spirit? What do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Hold on. What do we have for Cancer for the weekend? Thank you. Ooh, wish fulfillment. It's a party, somebody's birthday party, a gathering, some kind of festivity. You might meet somebody at a party. A get together. This is also a card for wish fulfillment, getting what you want. Two of Swords. This is a. They're by the water. Two of Swords is a choice. Being pulled in two different directions. Hermit. Strength. What else? What else? What else, Spirit? Thank you. Four of Swords is taking a break. Healing. Queen of Wands. You might be taking a break from a... Queen of Wands. Knave of Pentacles. It's like a page of Pentacles. King of Swords. Seven of Swords. Four of Swords and the Queen of Wands. The Sun and Tower. Four of Swords is, is like a temporary truce or a break or healing from a heartache or some kind of loss. It could be, um, you know, healing in the way of like taking a vacation, staycation, self-care kind of thing. Here it just shows somebody taking a break from work. And the Queen of Wands represents a person who's very 
um, outgoing, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and they're passionate. It got lusty, um, outgoing, confident, very hot blooded energy. And the sun in the tower is saying that either, you know, you're again, there's some kind of festivity dinner here, a gathering of good times. If you're going to some kind of event or something, it could make the other person very angry or upset, or it could be finding out something, getting information or clarity about something <clears throat> because everything is exposed in, in this under the sun's light. That's pure illumination, the sun. It's also the happiest card in the deck. These are both very happy cards. So for some of you, you might have even taken a break, a trip, um, reconnected with friends, family, had a great time. And there's somebody here who's like very angry or upset about this news. It could be you, it could be a cross watcher, it could be finding out something like you went to that party, you went to that place, you know who's going to be there, right? And then worried about that kind of situation and, or finding out something. <clears throat> you got two different, got one here and one here. We've got, yeah, six of pentacles. <sighs> Is there two here? Yeah, there's two. So we got six of pentacles on one side. And we got the Knave of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So it's like the Page of Cups and the Ten of Wands. And on the bottom, we got the King of Wands. Queen and the King of Wands. Should be a king here. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Six of Pentacles is kind of like... Here it shows charity, philanthropy, but this person has a spirit guide on their shoulder who is, you know, it's like one of those situations in this card, it looks like one of those people that you see there, they're, you know, you see an old person in the forest in the fairy tales and it ends up being like some kind of magical person. And depending on how you treat them or how kind you are, that's like, you know, whether you get a blessing or a curse or you miss a blessing. Um, it gives that vibe with this six of pentacles. But in love and romance, it is like a friend with benefit situation, like mutually beneficial kind of uh, situation. And in love, you know, there's always one person who cares more than the other. So it's very difficult with Six of Pentacles. It came up all the time during COVID because everybody was, you know, hooking back up with the people that they're very comfortable or at ease with. It's not the love of their life that's going to rock their world, but it's something comfortable and familiar. And, you know, we, had, we were all on lockdown, so you couldn't do anything. You couldn't meet people. So it's, it came up all the time. That's why I call it the Friends with Benefits card, Six Pentacles. Um, then you have the other situation. We got a Page of Cups, which is Knave of Cups. Got a little bit of a narcissist situation here because he's looking in the water and he's looking at himself. And you know the narcissist story is he thinks he's so beautiful. He's so in love with himself that he's literally always staring at his own reflection in the water and um, I think some nymph or somebody fell in love with him but he was still also into himself basically he gets turned into um, uh, a flower right you know what it gives me oh well, so when I put that all together because sometimes it's really like I have to spell out each thing before you can read the word spell out each letter yeah notification it's saying like there was some kind of blessing. There was some kind of spirit guide, guided blessing that was flubbed. And the Ten of Wands now is showing um, this person going home at nighttime. Ten of Wands is stress. You know, it's, it's working really hard towards something in general, right? And, and, it becoming like a lot of responsibility and weighing heavy on you at the same time like people talk about this a lot in a stressful way but at the same time it it represents like all that hard work is going towards something it's never wasted so there is success implied with the ten of wands now if we're going to go down the relationship love vibe it's fire energy it's ten of wands 
It's pent up emotions, pent up passion, pent up energy, right? Um, and the Knave of Cups, the paid, the, what is it? Knave of Cups is like the Knight of, this, I mean, it, it, usually the Page of Cups looks very young. This one is a full adult. And then you have the King of Wands, which is more fiery passion energy. You got the King and the Queen of Wands. They're a perfect match. The masculine and the feminine, divine masculine, divine feminine, whatever you want to call it. They are the perfect match for each other, the King and Queen of Wands. But do you see in between them, there is this argument or a fight. Finding out something because... The Queen of Swords, ooh, is it? The Queen of Swords was taking, the Queen of Wands, why am I saying that? Queen of Wands is taking a break. And the King of Wands is over here doing something else. I feel like it, they were being selfish. They had a lot of pent up um, mojo. They had a friends with benefits situation. I also flip it to flubbing something. And the king of wands here is, you know, taking action, very action oriented. Wherever they go, they have to do something. They can't sit still. Let's get a song and then I'll pull more tarot just so I can understand what the vibe is before I make up stories. Can you get a face up song, please? For cancer. Can you get a face up song for cancer? complicated and please don't leave me Ooh, avril lavigne and pink complicated is the feminine is going you went somewhere you're now you came back all new like why are you acting fancy why are you acting different right like i don't i don't like this whole vibe you're pulling it's not you and you know why do you have to go and make things so complicated something like that and then the feminine is also singing please don't leave me like this is because there's fights and tension here with the tower card i feel like and it's going like you know pushing somebody away but you really don't want them to leave okay so let's get an outcome card what's the outcome song and I just took that from the bottom complicated was the one face up so can we get a face up song for the outcome for cancer please this person outcome song for cancer because I just like to know that you know end result final answer thank you sorry not sorry feather yeah that's the end result sorry not sorry and feather That's the end result. So the thing that I've been getting is, you know, sometimes I'm a stickler where I go, if it's a feminine singing a song, I take it like, you know, in the past, I was like very, this is the masculine, this is the feminine singing this because it's a male singer and it's a female singer saying that. So it has to be. And then of late, I have been, you know, guided to keep it open, right? Depending on the message. Now, here it's very clearly you see somebody's going oh you thought the grass was greener um was it you see the grass is greener under me but it's technicolor i can tell that you can see and then um baby i'm sorry i'm not sorry and goes um the whole song is about a guy somebody who leaves and thinks that they can do better and then has to come back and see that the grass is greener where they were. And then now she's talking about like, might take it easy on you, but no, right? And then um, baby, I'm sorry, not sorry. And it's like, is it killing you now? Eat your heart out, now you missed out. And you know, too bad, too sad. Feather is basically this energy she's singing about being light as a feather because she doesn't have to worry about this person anymore. What they're doing, who they're with, doesn't have to spend so much energy focusing on someone else. And so she's going, I feel light as a feather now that it's done. So the whole song is going like, there's one person here going, they're totally done. 
complicated with singing to the same type of energy. Somebody goes away, comes back brand new, trying to act fancy. And she's like, where you are isn't where it's at. So please don't leave me. It's like this couple that's constantly fighting. And there's one, I feel like that doesn't apply. So I'm just going to take it back because I took it from the bottom. It didn't come face up. But I'll clarify. Let's clarify complicated. Spirit, just so you know that I'm not trying to thing. Let's get a face up song to clarify complicated. Sorry. That was almost. Can you get a face up song to clarify complicated for this read? Spirit, can we get it? Papa don't preach. Passing me by. Papa don't preach. I don't know. Papa don't preach. I feel like there's somebody here at the, because this is the weekend and this is the outcome. So please don't leave me, Papa don't preach. There's a person here who really like wants this to happen right now. Very attached. Going, you know, the parents don't approve here with Papa don't preach. The parents don't approve. It could be like a father doesn't approve or parents don't approve. Like they don't have their shit together. But, you know, it's all like, you know, built on dreams. And a pretty face. On the man. <laughs> He was so good looking. Oh my God. Anyways, in the video. Um, complicated. So for the weekend, it's like somebody comes back acting new and they don't like it. Could lead to an argument and they're ready to settle down with this person. They're ready to like get married. They don't have all their, their, you know, ducks in a row, but they're ready to commit like, or at least one of them wants to. And the outcome ends up being, oh, you thought that the grass is greener somewhere else. So now it's like very like, you're dead to me type of energy. <sighs> what else spirit? What else? What's it? Upside down. Page of swords, knave of swords is page of swords. Look. This feminine has a kite that she's putting up in the air. She's got a picture of a fairy or someone else up there. Like for what? I don't know. To get to for what though? I always feel like it's to get like, you know, I don't know. Is it like spell work or is it to get it electrocuted or something? I have no idea. It always feels like a vengeful act. So we got temperance, the hierophant, six of wands knight of swords a lot judgment okay so i'm going to put this away and go advice from spirit thank you got the king of cups two of pentacles ten of cups wow six of cups so there might be here it looks like the same type of feminine here the king of cups could be a pisces cancer scorpio Two of Pentacles is you see like they're uh, maintaining, they're taking care of the things they need to take care of. This is with being busy, doing day-to-day -day things, having to tend to the little things because they're building. They're trying to build something new or do something. Here she's cooking, she's using recipes. She's even got a spirit guide helping her, um, you know, put together these wonderful recipes. So it's like Two of Pentacles is showing balance. And putting balance in the way of like some kind of like work life balance or home kind of thing like trying this is advice from spirit right this is showing home cooking which speaks to you know being more calm being more you know grounded being able to build something right because pentacles are on building you get the ace of pentacles you get the opportunity and then two of pentacles now you're starting to build on that opportunity and here she's starting by well how do you build with two of pentacles it feels like saving money cooking, staying at home, um, trying to build something. Ten of Cups is the happily ever after. It's saying basically commit to your happiness, right? And Six of Cups, this is inner child healing. 
could be mother issues, childhood issues, but it could speak to also someone from your past. Maybe you ha have two kids or you're dealing with somebody who has two kids. That's it. So let's pull a Whispers of Love. Spirit, what do we have for Cancer for the weekend? Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. So that means like 10 of wands, you're exhausted. You're tired. You've been working like crazy. Also, like that can be exhaustion. Needing to sleep. Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Like attracts like. You, if you're longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. All right. And then um, let's get a witchling card. I just have been feeling these cards lately and the messages are so quick. Cancer for the weekend, please, spirit. Cancer. Cancer for the weekend. Thank you. This is inspiration. An inspired mind is willing to reach beyond limitations. And on the bottom, enthusiasm. Life is always brighter when you wake up each day with the spirit of enthusiasm. Get a crystal. Spirit, can we get a crystal card for Cancer for the weekend? What crystal does Cancer need to work with for the weekend? The shadow creativity. And speaking to the shadow side, fire. It's, I feel like it's saying lust and passion, healthy body. See, it's all about, your body's healthy though. Very passionate energy, very hot-blooded. I don't know what that's supposed to say in any, maybe just pointing it out. I don't know. Let's get a um, spirit message from John Holland. Oh, I know shuffle. Come on. What message is there for cancer for the weekend? What message is there for cancer for the weekend? Too much. What message is there for cancer for the weekend? What message is there for cancer for the weekend? Why? Come on. One. Two. There we go. Oh my God. Always cancer. Always always you are not alone we are here for you we never left through all the sadness and loneliness however you cannot sense through all was this through all the sadness and loneliness however you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you we are your family friends and guides you never walk alone we walk right beside you this has been a recurring message for cancer constantly and there's somebody who put in the comment section things as the sunny days was the um, account saying, is this a general energy, this relentless energy from all, is it going on for all cancers? Honestly, I don't know. I, I don't, I barely know any cancers, but I met a cancer recently and then their ancestors are nonstop, nonstop. And I don't think that this person is even aware, but you know, if I tell them, like, they're one of those people that, like, there's no point even saying anything. But that's why it's, it's nonstop. Even when I do these readings, like, it's always ancestors in the crystal card or this card comes out, you know, always speaking to their ancestors are always trying to help them and watch over them. Anyways, then we have new beginnings. Uh, yeah, see, because in the last reading for Cancer for the end of October, you got the um, ancestors card in the crystal deck and you got the uh, cacoxonite crystal which was speaking to a new beginning so this time again right we are going to the same thing you can see i'll show you in the crystal decks you got this ancestors and you got cacoxonite where is it Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm 
this one, New Beginnings. Check it, right? It's Cancer. Cancer, October 24th to the 31st. It's the last Cancer reading I did. Is this not the exact same message for Cancer? So New Beginnings, it says, Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now, life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. Have courage and faith and trust your intuition, your um, what you're feeling like, you know, in your gut feeling. If it's pushing you towards something, or it's your ancestors. They're trying to... This is okay. Here's the download. Cancer, lucky you that you guys get the download. Uh, I'll have to say in the daily. Now I'm going to have to do a general weekend reading to give the download. For some reason, whatever I'm watching, seeing, whatever I take notice of, it's guided. So I was watching a reading. It was, it was on TV. It was about the Trinity Oracles. It's three sisters and they were on some kind of like podcast, YouTube, kind of whatever show. And they're talking about spirit. They're Christian. They're talking about spirit and how, you know, about things like reincarnation and how they get messages and how spirit guides you. But nine times out of 10, like sometimes people don't listen, right? Spirit will tell you, they see the bigger picture. They'll tell you which way to go. They'll tell you what you do, what to do for your highest good. But people don't listen. For example, for myself, spirit always says, show your face. You know, you don't have to be perfect. Go and do your videos. People want to see you messy and, you know, looking bad and talking about your shit and just being normal. But I'm an asshole like that. I won't do it. I won't. I have very vain. And I have like my own pride. And I won't do it. I, eventually I will. And it's something that I'm supposed to be doing. So, you know, that to me downloaded like, oh, I better do it. And now I'm thinking about it in a different way. Like who gives a fuck? Right. So anyways, Last time Spirit gave me messages, it was, you know, take this opportunity, this wonderful once in a life opportunity to get the fuck out. And I didn't listen, right? And now I'm paying the consequences of not listening. So I'm not trying to judge cancer by going, you don't listen, but I'm telling you, right? That's the download because I've been watching the videos and things I see and whatever. When you are guided to do something bigger picture, there's a way like they can tell you, you can lead a horse to water, can't make it drink, right? This is what I'm trying to say. So your ancestors are working overtime. There is like personally for the cancer that I know, there's a grandmother, there is uh, another spirit that came in a giant dog. There was a, a masculine on the father's side there is another younger masculine redhead on the mother's side and that's just the ones i saw trying to help so i'm just letting you know they're guiding you and whatever do what you got to do anyways yeah so an answer to sunny days and i'll put it in the comment section too i don't know about all cancers i know like barely any so, uh, yeah, I, 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 I check in with astrology every once in a while, <clears throat> but I've been busy and I've been doing a different kind of spiritual work, getting downloads and doing other things. So I haven't been checking in on all that. I don't know what it's, what's going on for cancer um, or even for Taurus, really. I'm a Taurus. Anyway, that's it. That's your reading. Spirit's guiding you. You can either take it or leave it. Okay. Take care. I'll talk to you guys for your November readings. Bye.